right. Finally, we got this going. Wait, can I hear us? Yeah, I hope so. So, hey everybody, and welcome back. My name is Sue, and I'm from OML Embroidery. And welcome to the second to last I Need a Good Design All Access. I'm sad, but I am looking forward to the new setup. I can't wait to check it out. So, okay, can you hear me? Is everything good? Hello, Sue and Don. Hello, Isabel. Yeah, and next to me, checking this out, is Don. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Diane is here. Davina, hello. Everyone's saying hello to Isabel. So, looking at... Oh, Chris Yost. Hi, Chris Yost. Oh, and Karina. Hi, Karina. Say it for... Hello. There you go. That's, that's what you get there. So, sound is good. We're ready to start. So, looking at this front here, I really like the home, Swedish home. And um, feeling friends look beautiful. And we'll have to see about the rest of it. Holiday spice and everything nice. For sure. So, I'm excited. I'm excited. Ah, <laughs> thanks, Dodd. There you go. Were you missing that, Karina? Probably. Probably. <clears throat> so, <coughs> let's see here. Ooh, holiday. Oh, look at that home, Swedish home. That's beautiful. Beverly, good morning. Sue Don and everyone, she says. Holiday Spice. Holiday Spice. Yeah, looking good. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Holiday Spice. Ooh, I like, I like it. it. Mm -hmm. Squishy friends, these triple stuffed applique buddies look great on shirts and sweatshirts. Yep, cheers to the new year. I'm not ready to deal with New Year's yet. Not quite yet. Ooh, Marble Maze. These freestanding applique mazes use organza and a marble to travel through the maze. That's wow, neat. they come up with good <laughs> ideas, cool. don't they? Oh, look at this home, Swedish home. Oh, it's so pretty. Especially with the pink, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good evening <clears throat> from the uh, Netherlands. Good evening. Good evening. So, I like this. I like the idea of the maze thingies. I think that's brilliant. It's awesome. Yeah. And paper ornaments. So there we go. Cat portraits look just that's like... stunning, actually. Yeah, yeah, I know. Woodsy and welcoming. Holiday spice. Vintage-inspired holiday designs. Right up my alley. Yeah, uh, I love this. A citrus <laughs> Christmas. That could be. It could be. Oh, look at this snowman. Oh, man. Making a cocktail gift bag. That is super nice. You get the link for it. Remember, the digital ones are all um, interactive. Uh, Judy Quilt. Hi, Judy Quilt. Hello, hello. Glad you could make it. For sure. Nice. Um. Yeah. I like the snowman. And he's holding the uh, citrus. Citrus, it's awesome. I do like the snowman. I like the earthy colors with the fabric. Yeah. I'm pointing, but you guys Even can't the, see the me pointing. Cinnamon. Earthy. I could I like smell it. it. I could smell it. I like this batik fabric right there mm -hmm. for some reason. I really like it. So, stitching out holiday spice, step-by-step -step instructions. The oranges are gorgeous. So, batting steps. So, there's a little bit of applique <laughs> and some stitching. <laughs> wow, did I actually get here someone on time? Hi, someone. Friends. Awesome. Hello. Um, I'm loving the oranges. It's beautiful. Yeah, so a little bit of applique, which always makes it great. It looks like a, kind of like a painting, mm -hmm. retro yeah. painting or something like that. It's, uh, oh, even better close up. Oh my Way goodness. I love the pine needles. Um, 
I wonder what the, are they satin stitches? Because, yeah, they look pretty cool. They look like they are. And the rocking horse? The rocking horse is awesome. Oh, the wreath. And look the at the stocking. pointy toe on the stocking. Oh, I love it. it must be an elf stocking. Karina <laughs> says, beautiful. I know, I know. More people are joining us. Tracy, hello, in the UK. Sherwood Forest, that's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, these really are beautiful. Look at the pine cones on the one, the mm -hmm. reef one. So beautiful. Oh. oh the angel. Nice. Wow. Yeah, and the deer. It's different with the citrus. Yeah, I like it. Little tiny stuff to make your house smell nice. From California. I'm here. I have arrived. Finally, <laughs> Jeanette. You're going to have to tell us the story of that comment because I'm sure there is a good one. Oh, look at the log cabin ornament, I guess. Mm -hmm. Even the bows look good. Nice. Well, there's our snowman. He's cute. And Gingy. the tree. Oh, he's Sorry, a cute. I skipped over the tree. I was excited about Gingy. Uh, uh, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Nutcracker. You like the Nutcracker, guys. I do. That's some. Um, I like the lantern. It's absolutely beautiful if you mm. look at it. It's stunningly beautiful. It's a lot of nice detail. Uh, lantern. Yep. Beautiful. I like the style. I like everything about mm -hmm. it. I don't necessarily like Nutcrackers, but that guy it, is pretty good. He doesn't have like the weird... Uh, Nutcracker is not the big thing. It's the... the Father Christmas and the yeah. old style Santa Claus that I like well, more than anything. But these kind of go with it. I like him. He's not creepy, scary looking. No, no. Some of them are kind of creepy. Dried orange slices. Now, we should look that up. I wonder if that's an old tradition that we've forgotten. It must be, and we should try it. Um, Maybe. You can just buy... It's like potpourri. Yeah. For sure. Oh, then little ones. Oh, singles. Okay, I love that. Nice. So you could add to it. You um, could like put things together. You know, this one right here can go around something. I'm thinking maybe a monogram too. I think nice. A little snowman might look good on a snowman head on a on a sweater. Mug rug. Mug rug. Paper ornaments. Cut cardstock creations. Well, we know we love stitching on cardstock, so that's awesome. And it's for the 4x4 four four hoop. Awesome. Paper stash buster. Experiment with matte embroidery threads for fun visual contrast in the beautiful bean stitch designs. Well, and I, also, if you don't want to do it on paper... Um, embroidering on paper is actually kind of fun, though. Um, those are beautiful, beautiful designs just on anything. You could put them on a, well, they're kind of small, but you could put a whole bunch of them on a sweatshirt. That would be awesome. So, yeah, paper. Design master page. Well, marking stitch, place the cardstock, any thread color for decorative stitches, marking stitch, placement stitch, tacking stitch, and thread color. Well, it doesn't seem difficult. No. And tearaway stabilizer. Applique fabric or vinyl. Hmm. So, okay. Locate the desired ornament shape in your design files. Use the SVG to edit cut file. Yes. Okay. That's cool. Hoop a piece of tear away. Should be using a smaller hoop. And put the pre-cut shape in there. Stitch it down. A little bit of fabric over it. And then trim it so you have that nice border. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. That's not hard to do. And then stitch the design. Oh, so then look. The back is as beautiful as the front. Oh, nice. That's the yeah. back. Okay, yeah. This yeah. one here is the back. Ah, nice. this one's a little bit better because it has fabric. But, okay, that's actually that's, really that's... a great idea. Yeah. 
Um, I like the back and the front. Okay, mm -hmm. very cool. Oh, yeah, they're beautiful. What a fantastic idea. And super easy to do. Let's see. Tracy's here. Marilyn is here. Hello, hello. I'd embroider these on felt, says Judy Cool. Yeah, that would look fantastic, too. Uh, Ronog, hello, Ronog. Glad you could make it. Um, I like this. I really like... Oh, I like the squares, too. Snowflakey. Yeah, no, they're beautiful. Yeah. The curve at the top. That's kind of neat. Okay, the stars are beautiful. I think I might like to use these designs for something else. I don't know what, but I love them. Oh, look at the star. Oh, look at both of them. Huh. So they fit in the 4x4 hoop. Those are all awesome. Sneak peeks. Oh, my God. Phenomenal. Okay. Awesome. I couldn't think of another <laughs> play on words for gnome. <laughs> Phenomenal. There we go. Phenomenal. Uh, look at them. They I, I are, like the police gnome here. I like the beekeeper. That's really cute. So ornate. Yes. Occupation gnomes. I love it. Peeking pal. Elegant modern napkins. Oh, at the bottom. Quilted table runner. Oh, yeah. All right. Those are awesome. Um cat portraits oh my gosh look at look done with the green eyes look at the oh, detail wow. that looks like a sketch look at it the does. detail so beautiful with it's the orange nice. yeah and those eyes are stunning um wow so cat portraits life without cats i don't think so oh yeah wow i think if you Put that on a sweatshirt like that i'm pretty sure people would notice um i'd put the stars in a military memory quilt well there you go for sure fabric threads notions i like that turquoise thread mm -hmm. really nice oh okay that's cool so applique at the back that saves probably hours of um stitching and it's interesting that they use the yellowy color and put the browns over it. Yeah. So it's just applique and then stitching, and the result is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So, um, awesome. Oh, wow. Long mm -hmm. hair, tuxedo, Maine Coon. That looks like a Maine Coon, mm -hmm. for sure. British short hair, Sphinx. Oh, those are the hairless thingies. No, that one has hair, though. But yeah, they, they all, I, mean, I guess when they're hairless, they all look like that. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Mr. Quilt hates cats. Well, uh, I love these. I love these. Absolutely. They're so realistic. Realistic? They are. Domestic short hair. Okay, the turtle. Yeah. That is amazing. That's one of the best designs I think I've ever seen. Yeah. That's amazing. The colors. Really well done. Oh, Siamese. Yeah, not bad. Rex. He's cute. The noses are cute. Oh, Calico Tabby again with the colors. Hmm. Um, this this the short, short hair. hair. <laughs> he looks kind of funky, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what they look like, so um, they're awesome. A munchkin. Oh, those are the ones with the short legs. Oh, okay. He's cute. He's, oh, Maine Coon. That dude's serious. Oh, I love him, though. Yeah. Beautiful. Norwegian Forest. That's cool. I love all the detail. Orange Tabby. He looks like he has attitude, but isn't he beautiful? He is. That's amazing. Ooh, British short-haired ginger. Yep, he's yeah. nice. Scottish fold. I've seen those with their ears folded down. Hmm. Wow. Persian, Napoleon munchkin. The eyes are what's getting me. Yeah, the All eyes of really them. stand out. Yeah, they're really, really well done. 
So, cat portrait. Yeah, I guess you could make it to match your cat. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, anybody who has a cat would like a gift like this, and you oh, could change sure. the colors to um, match. Try texture, offset colors, use a photo, pick a design. Okay, so they tell you how to, um, like, customize it. So getting it just right. Awesome. Oh, look at the kitty at the top here. Mm -hmm. And this is what they came up with oh, okay, by yeah. changing yeah. the colors. This is the actual design. Right. And they changed the colors to match. And okay, that yeah, is awesome. amazing. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah, it does look like the cat, even the eyes. Beautiful. Fantastic ideas. Um, a dog set like this is needed. Yeah, I know. I agree. So many different breeds, though. As long as there a dash hound, there's a dash hound. Um, I, I wonder if they've done the dogs. We might have to look. Might have to look it up. So, home Swedish home. Willkommen hem. Okay, I probably didn't say that even right, and embarrassed myself. But hey, I don't know. Oh, I love try. them. I love them. That's nice. Folk animal quilt is one of my favorites. I really like the pink. Okay, so Lynn would like this very <laughs> much. Oh, Jeanette, that's a great idea. Uh, imagine using glow-in-the-dark thread for the eyes. Oh, that'd be too creepy. <laughs> no, I'm thinking that'd be cool. So, I like the pink. I noticed there's a pink house, a turquoise house, highlights. The colors are fantastic mm -hmm. in this. I think it's cool. So, ten, oh, so the big, 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 big hoop, um, all the way down to, it's a little over four by seven, but yeah. So, square and rectangle, let's see. Let's see. So, no show mash, batting, cut out the batting, put the piece of fabric down, and then another applique for the house, and then all of the decorations. Well, that's truly beautiful. That is really nice. nice. Really nice. <laughs> like the little sheep. The little sheep. I know. I just noticed that I was looking at the smaller one. Um, awesome. And the details and the style of it. Oh, bunnies. Chickens. Oh my gosh. I must stitch that one out. <laughs> I like the chickens. Fox. Flowers. Birds. I like the style of trees on the bottom right hand. Yeah, those are kind of neat. That's kind of neat and all the dots and leaves and everything. Yep. Oh, little borders for in between. Uh -huh. Sunflowers. I like it. Okay, that is just truly a lot of fun. So here we go with Marble Maze. Amazing 3D adventures. This... I've never seen anything like this before. Um, I think it's cool. So, it's a marble, and it's underneath organza, so you can just roll it around. So it's trapped in the maze. Yes. That's cool. That's a really great idea. It is. Oh, yeah, don't lose your marbles. Yeah, of course, you won't lose the marble, because you Yes, it's a... Yeah. Mm, great for little ones. Stitch out a few of these fun characters and pack them along for the next car ride. Yeah, probably play with that forever. However, if you didn't want to make, you know, a marble trail on it, the characters are super de do cute. Mm -hmm. sure. Just like that. Freestanding sort of thing. So that's awesome. <laughs> Rocket ship? I love it. I love it. So, wash away, water soluble, soluble, and then appliques, and then more appliques, and then look, they see they put the marble in. 
now run the marking stitch for the marble. Carefully move the marble to sitting between the marking stitches. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like yeah. that. That's awesome. Um, put. Oh, they tell you where to put the marble. Okay, I really like that. I was wondering. Um, put the marble in the middle and then put your um, organza on it and then move the marble to the stitches so you won't run into it. Hmm. Oh, that's really cute. And then you can put a piece of fabric on the back and stitch it down, trim it out, and do satin stitches. That's cool. That's really brilliant. I love the kitty. I love the kitty. I think that's adorable. Ooh, frog's pretty cool. Frog is pretty <laughs> cool. But you could just play and move the marble around. Oh, snail's cool too. Love the fabric they used on the snail. Sunflower oh, one. I guess sh should I make a bee for bee? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. She would still like it. And the sunflower with the butterfly. Caterpillar's cute too. Yes. Oh, I like the leaf and the bug. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, that is a completely original idea. That is. And I like it. That's, a, that's pretty smart. Cheers to the new year. Oh, aren't they nice? Sip, sip, hooray. Anita's <laughs> fonts. I love Anita's fonts. Oh, you can make them into uh, wall hangings like that. Oh, that's, nice. that's stunning. Huh. Try sti stitching out your desired motifs and piecing them in circular frames. Well, yeah. Um... If you put some vinyl on it, the kids can trace their path with a pen and wipe it out after. Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Yep. I love it. Oh, these are nice. Pop, fizz, clink. And then the countdown, sip, sip, array. I love the fonts. The fonts. They're very nice. Yep. New year, new you. Hmm. Bling in the new year. Bling in the new year. Yep. <coughs> Wake me up when the ball drops. That's us. <laughs> Best year ever. Customize your creation. Buildable bonus. For this DIY, we've included bonus satin stitch circle files that will allow your cheers to the new year designs to become entirely freestanding. Okay, nice. yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Make them into... Oh, yeah, look around the... The oh, alcohol yeah. container. So Very you're nice. going to stitch it and then you can put the satin stitches. Oh, they make it so easy. They and do. of course, they tell you how to do everything. I just love them for it. That's awesome. That is awesome. So, yeah, you stitch it as normal. And if you decide you want to make it freestanding, you stitch it uh, placement yep. and then put it down like as an applique. Trim around, put back on it, and do your satin, trim that, and do your satin stitches. Super awesome. easy. Okay, squishy friends. Okay. Simply adorbs. I, I was going to say that's adorable. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever looked into the eyes of your favorite stuffed toy and wish you could just take them everywhere? Our adorably squishy toy-inspired applique designs make it easier than ever to adorn yourself with your favorite stuffy. That's awesome. Uh, each squishy friend gets extra fluffy, stuffy look with the use of high loft batting. Simply adding the high loft batting or even a few additional layers of standard batting beneath, oh, stretchly, stretchy applique fabric. Oh, uh, yeah. That's the key to it. Uh, creates a lovely stuffed toy. That yeah. is super cute. Mm. That is really neat. So, tear, I like the popsicle. <laughs> tear away stabilizer. We have zombie popsicles upstairs in the freezer. Yeah. Yes. Run the placement stitch for the first applique. High loft batting on top of the stitch. Stitch it down. Trim it out. And then cover it with the stretchy fabric. Beautiful! I love it! What a clever idea. 
Oh, and they're so cute. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at the strawberries. There's so many of them. That is so cute. And a hippo and an owl and a kitty. Pizza slice. Pizza slice. It is a darn cute piece of pizza is. slice, I'm thinking. So, oh, we're already down to steps. I think I gotta make this. Um, yeah, maybe. I really like it. So, yeah. at the back of the book, as always, it's gonna tell you each step. Now, if you have the digital book, what I do when I decide to do one from the book and it has a, you know, it's fairly complicated, I will print out just this one page, for example. And so I have it there with me and then I can cross off, um, you know, what I'm doing sort of thing. And it tells you the size and how many stitches. So the cats, uh, six by six to basically seven by seven to eight by eight. Eight by eight is a really good size for those. Mm -hmm. So if you have any questions on size and everything, just look at the back. Yeah, and this one is, has a lot. Oh, one size, 7.9 by 8 by 3, the froggy. That's a nice oh, size. Yeah. It has to be on the bigger size so you can stuff it with stuff. Right. I love the squishy friends and the maze. Okay, I'm impressed. That's a couple Whoa. of really original designs. So, Don, at the last page, what is your favorite? Mm. Holiday Spice. And yeah. Squishy Friends. Because it's, it's um, retro. I think I'm going to pick the Marble Maze for originality. Yeah. Because I think that would be really cute if you had little ones. The um, cats are absolutely stunning, and I really like the designs on the paper ornaments. And of course, the quilting, the Swedish home, I think that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, Sue, you need to do a demo of the high loft batting project. <laughs> um, I think that would be fun. I gotta find stretchy you material. Um, we don't have high loft batting, but I can take my crappity crap crap batting and just make a Do couple of them. layers of it. Yeah. It's fine. So everyone's saying the cats. Marilyn says, love the holiday spice. Um, awesome. I think the holiday spice, we're going to look that up about the, uh, the orange, oranges, dried oranges mm -hmm. and see about that. So, lots of good stuff. I think a demo uh, of the paper. Because yeah. Lynn can do those, and I'd love to teach her that yes. kind of thing, that you can do it on paper. Um, Gail says, folk art Swedish home. Yeah, it's really nice. I really like the different ideas that they have. The retro, the oranges, I think that's really cool. Yep. If you don't want oranges, you could just color them yellow yep. or green. Yep. Or lime. Lemon or limes, I don't know, probably doesn't have the same meaning, but you could do it. Um, squishy and the folk quilt, that's what I'm saying. Fewer designs this month, I, I think, but outstanding ones to make up for it. Yes. Chris Yo says I like the cats. Um, a lot of work went into those. A lot of work went into those. We must yeah. stitch one out. Just we should, yeah. Do a cute little video of its time lapse stitching, obviously on the big uh, ten needle, and um, just to see. I think that would be cool. So, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to actually like this video, click the like button, and we have one more all access, and then we're going to be moving into the new stuff, and we're going to figure out what we need to do for it. So Tracy's just saying, how's it going to work when we get 15 drops a month? 
I'm going to check it out. I am talking with Anita Good Design, but the exclusive to the club designs are going to be important. And I think maybe a look back at the designs, just, you know, the month. So instead of the begin of, beginning of the month going forward, it'd be the end of the month going back. That was my first thought. But um, I'll see what they say and we will figure it out and we will still have our monthly thing it just yes. may be a little bit different so we'll figure it out and then we'll have as many stitch alongs as we can do so okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a lovely sew along of the hexagon swirls and if you look in the OML Embroidery University Facebook group there are a couple of them stitched out mm -hmm. and they look fantastic so nice. awesome so, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.